Welcome to part two of our Internet Browser Basics tutorial. By now you've already viewed the Internet Explorer tutorial that walked you through Internet Explorer's basic functions. Firefox is mostly the same, so this one will go a lot faster. I'm going to point out some things that are uh, particularly different between the two browsers. <clears throat> some things that are the same, I mean the title bar at the top, the menu bar, still the same, basic location um, in Firefox. I've got, I've got my tabs set to be on top and you can customize the appearance of that by right clicking and you can turn off tabs on top and then the address bar will move to up above the tabs. You, so you can right click on here, turn off the menu bar which is now underneath of the Firefox logo. And now I'm experiencing that phenomenon. Okay, menu bar. Put the menu bar back. Turn off the... Yeah, put tabs back. Put the tabs back on top because I just I like that better. Okay, so there we go. Uh, basic, again, your back button, forward button, same place as IE. There is the refresh button. Same behavior here. If you refresh, it's one thing. If you control refresh, it's a more powerful refresh. In Firefox, though, a little bit of a different behavior. When I press control on the keyboard, and I'm doing that, I push the refresh button. It not only forces a refresh back to the web server, tells the browser to forget everything it has in its current history. It opens a new tab. And so you see this one opened up in a new tab. Okay, I'm going to close that tab though because I'm going to go back to our, I'm going to try to keep my tabs under control this time, unlike my IE demo. Right, so this one is the address bar, the refresh bar. You'll notice there's no uh, refresh button, there's no stop button on, in Firefox because when you push refresh, and I'm just going to click refresh, you'll see the stop button appear for just a moment and then it is hanging around for a long time okay so the only time that a stop is relevant is when a page is actually loading so and there it went away so it disappears when the button is no longer relevant so kind of an interesting difference between IE and Firefox uh, in Firefox you can search this is your search bar you can drop this down though in Firefox you get a choice between Yahoo, Bing, Amazon, eBay, so on and so forth. You can even define your own search engine here if you want to search some place that's not even listed in any any of those. Uh, you can you can definitely customize that any way you want. The home button here uh, right now is set to www.tccedu and if I want to change that location I can come up here to the tools, options, on the general tab, let's say I want to change it to cnn.com, okay, and now when I push home, it will take me to cnn.com, and there we have it. Okay, but I want to go back to my tools. I'm going to go back to my options and I'm going to put it back to .tcc.edu so that when I press home, it takes me back to TCC. Okay, some other features that are slightly different in Firefox than Internet Explorer in Firefox when you notice that the status bar is not actually visible unless we are hovering on a link so there's no status bar and now there is a status bar and if I'm not hovering a link no status bar same thing though in IE or Firefox that it was not IE the status bar can be critical because you hover a link and uh oh look at that it's going not where you think so the status bar can be critical in helping you navigate because it shows you where a link is going before you click on it. In Firefox we deal with the broken back button in 
a little bit of a different fashion. I will click this link now and see if it takes me to the survey, and it did. Okay, so now I've got the survey, and I'm going to hit back, and it may or may not go back. It did. Okay, it didn't uh, do the broken back because this is actually the second time I've recorded this tonight, and I already experienced the quote-unquote broken back button phenomenon. But let me go to TCC and I'll just randomly, I'll click on a couple of different, um, different things. Okay, in Firefox, it remember if you recall, first of all, in IE next to the forward button there was that little down arrow, and when we clicked it, the menu opened up. There's none none of that in Firefox, but when you click and hold the button, you can now go back multiple items in your history. So a little bit of a different behavior in Firefox. If and in any browser that the down arrow is not visible, it's you click and hold the back button and that gets you the same feature of being able to jump back multiple items in your history, which can be helpful in those situations for when I call the broke what what I call the, the broken back button. Same behavior in Firefox, right click is still a handy way to open links and new tabs. And so I opened up a couple of news web pages there, BBC, CNN. Okay. And I'll close those. Keep the tabs under control. Managing your book favorites and bookmarks. In Firefox, they're called bookmarks. You bookmark this page. You can create, drop this menu down, create a new folder. We'll call this ITE 130 demo. Click done. And now when I go to bookmarks, ITE 130, there it is. If I delete that, if I want to delete that, decide, eh, that's not really for me anymore. Delete that folder right click on the folder click delete and it's gone okay we already went through how to set your home page let's show and hide some menus firefox gives you quite a few different customization options i have right now tabs on top with a navigation and a menu bar but let's say i turn off the menu bar because maybe i don't think i need that one at the moment and I can turn off, I mean, you can turn off the navigation if you want. You don't, don't even need to see the address. And, but I'm going to leave the address on. And so there we go. You can, you can add and remove different components to this. You can even customize your menu. And so that's how you show and hide menus. And I'm going to leave the menu bar on for just a moment because now I'm going to show you the last piece and that is how to clear your history. So if you're on a public computer you can easily clear your history. You go under tools, clear recent history, and then here again it gives you all these options for you know what do you want to clear. Just click everything, clear now, and it's gone. So once you close this browser window every page that you clicked on, passwords, cookies, all site preferences, it's, it'll all go away with that window. And so there you have it. Firefox in a whole lot less time than it took us to go through Internet Explorer, but it's always easier to just kind of compare the differences.